All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the My Tesla channel. My name is Jeremiah, and we finally have an FSD beta video for you all. I haven't done one in over a month, and that's just because I haven't got an update in over a month. The last video you all saw was 10.8. Uh, I did get 10.8.1, but the day I got it, uh, I was taking my car to get PPF applied, so I didn't have my car for like a solid three to four days. Um, but yeah, I mean, 10.8.1 wasn't really that different from 10.8. It was one of the small updates. Uh, and then 10.9 came around, never got it. 10.10 came around, never got it. Apparently those got paused. Uh, and apparently a lot of people had a lot of problems with 10.10. Uh, I saw really good things about 10.9 and I saw really, <laughs> I saw a lot of bad things about 10.10, but I'd never personally uh, got to try it. But we do have 10.10.2 here are the release notes now. And hopefully while I was talking about 10.9 and all that, I was putting the release notes on screen. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, I mean, I say nothing too crazy, but you all can kind of see there and I'll probably have a screenshot on the screen, but uh, we're gonna be doing our test loop or it's, I'm still trying to put together a test loop. Um, but one of the big things, I think it was 10.9, the car should be better now at left hand uh, unprotected turns, uh, which if you all saw my last video, there was a left hand unprotected turn uh, about a mile away from me right now that the car has been unable to do uh, on 10.8. 10.8.1, which y'all didn't see, but car couldn't do it. I've, I've, I've went through there, essentially, like every time I pass through there, I throw on the beta, can't do it, cannot do the turn. Um, it, it just gets stuck, it spazzes out, and then it just freezes. So we're gonna see if, because I haven't done it on 10.9, of course now we're on 10.10, .10, uh, and then the big thing for 10.10 .10 was uh, rolling stops are gone. But enough of that, let's go ahead and let's get started. Hopefully you all can see, let me check this. Yeah, you all can see. One day I'm gonna be able to charge here. One day, because I don't I don't have a supercharger in my town. It'd be really nice, you know. I go to bed, forget to plug the car in, which I've never done, but you know, just in case. Uh, plus, Teslas are becoming very popular in my town. Uh, one of my buddies actually picked up a standard range, or when he ordered it, it was a standard range. There we go. We have the navigation. So let's go ahead and throw this on. But what I was saying is that my friend actually picked up a uh, standard range plus, or at least when he ordered it, it was a standard range plus. Now it's the uh, base model because they dropped the standard range plus name. Uh, but one day I'll be able to charge there. Let's see how it does here. We do have the full stopping. All right, creeping for visibility. It's completely clear. It's. I'm sorry that this is a uh, kind of late night. Did we just curb my wheel? I think we just curbed the wheel. Maybe not, I don't know. I don't really care too much, to be honest with you. But no, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna hit the left-hand turn, see if it can do it. Uh, we have the right-of-way. Is it not gonna do it? Okay, that was really bad. That was actually awful. I don't know if you all saw that, but we had the right-of-way and everything, and the car just wasn't going. It was very weird. I eventually just nudged it through because, I mean, those lights, if you, if it, you know, if if there's not a lot of cars there, the lights are, or it's, especially like this time of night, those lights are not going to stay green for as long as they do during the day, you know, when it's like super jam-packed and there's a bunch of cars waiting to get out and, you know, the lights stay green for what feels like almost forever. Uh, the lights at this time of night will not do that. If I would have sat there any longer, it would have, you know, just went red and I would have still been sitting there. We have a turn coming up. This is the turn right here. And we should be slowing down. It's normally really late about getting in this lane. Yeah, so it's still getting in the lane super late. Let's see if it can do it, though. I mean, we are completely clear, and this is what happens every single time. Oh, is it gonna do it? Oh my God, it did it! Oh my God, it did it! All right, yeah, stop yelling at me. I know, okay. Oh, it actually did it. It has never done that turn. Now, it was very slow, but I mean, at least it did it. Uh, now, we should have a right-hand turn coming up here. We're gonna go through a roundabout and get off on the third exit or the third, yeah, third exit of the roundabout. I'm, I'm so sorry if I'm bad at talking through this. I haven't done this now in like a month. We should be turning right, right here. So 
So despite it getting in the lane very late, that wasn't too bad. I wonder how it's gonna do on this roundabout. I've never actually taken it through this big roundabout. So let's see here. It's coming up. It's yielding. I wonder if it fully stops at a yield sign. Got like it does at stop signs now. Okay, we're moving on through. Continuing to move through. All right, we're switching lanes. That wasn't bad. It was a little shaky, but all around not bad. I actually have no idea where we're going. Thank God the car does. Like, I don't have the nav system up. Like, I have a general idea where we're going. Like, we should be going down this road, but that's weird that it stopped all the way back there. This is a uh, car plant, uh, the thing that we're driving through. It's actually one of Toyota's car plants. I think it's uh, like the, I don't know. It's one of the bigger ones. All right, speed bump. Never mind, it, that just faked me out. And it faked the car out too. Huh. I thought that was a speed bump. It wasn't, it was painted like a speed bump. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I would have slowed down for that as well. All right, let's see how it does this turn. I actually don't know if I'm allowed to go in here. Oh, thought I was about to hit the turn. I thought I was about to hit the curb. All right, let's see how it handles this. Oh, this is not a stop sign. This is not a stop sign. All right, we're gonna report that. There's been a lot of reports, but I mean, not any disengagements, so. Now I have no idea where I'm at. Car's handling it though. Normally it would say whenever navigation's about to end. I think, if I remember correctly, I have it set to end. Yeah, that's not a stop sign, so it did really good there. Honestly, yeah, that was perfect. Uh. I know it should end us in a parking lot, and we're, and we're we're in a parking lot, so. Yep, navigation ending. So I have our next destination in. Let's go ahead and get started. I don't think I've ever engaged um, FSD from a standstill. That was smooth, that was really smooth. I know there was somewhere in the release notes about uh, the vehicle knowing when an imminent or like when slowdown is imminent. So it won't just like blast off. I think that, I, that, that might've been with this update. All right, just don't curb my wheels, please. But no, uh, I got out and checked. Uh, no no curbing happened, it was, which is really weird because it felt like the entire back of the vehicle got pushed. Like, you know, you were curbing, you know, like you slammed into the curb. This is a very sharp turn coming on down here. Let's see how it goes. Whoa, whoa there. All right, nice, nice, this is sharp. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Nice little three-way right here. All right, a little shaky, but that was good, that was good. Even though they say that it comes to a full stop. Wait, hang on, before I finish that, let's see if this fake speed bump up here gets it again. Because it looks like a speed bump. From right here, it looks like one. But it's not. It's not a speed, okay, like, I don't know if that's like an illusion with the eyes because the way it's painted, but it, it, it looks like a speed bump. Maybe it doesn't to you all, but to me, it looks like one. That wasn't bad. Now, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. See, this is this is why uh, I feel like I'm not good at these beta videos because I'll be talking about something and then something else will catch my attention and I'll lose my train of thought. 
I really hope there's not just like a bunch of broken sentences. But yeah, it's gonna try to get me on the on the interstate over here. I'm not gonna let it. So we're gonna pop it out and then pop it back in and I'm just gonna see how it gets there. like that it's I think it's down here it's gonna try to get us on nope this is not the turn all right so that right there is just straight up not the turn uh, that was really bad that would have had me going like uh, north because that right there is south that's where I should have went because that right there loops around and goes south <laughs> that was awful we're gonna go ahead and uh, do that that was awful. All right, so we should be good now. Let me make sure that it still knows where it's going. Update, it still knows where it's going, so. I'm so sorry for, you know, every single innocent bystander that has been blinded by FSD beta at night. I, I truly would like to apologize on behalf of everyone. Because it's, it's, it's awful see how it does here it's stopping a little bit too far back than what I would stop but it's not wasting no time getting up there now it's wasting time just sitting here there's a car coming so I'm gonna push it through wasn't too bad I am gonna report that because I mean we were clear as day we had one car come and then literally nothing else it even pulled up as if it was going to continue and just you know go right through it but it didn't it kind of just sat there and I know that I I could wait and you know wait but there was a car pulling up behind me and you know especially if they're coming out of the car plant they probably want to get home uh, it's doing really good on this road right here. This road, normally, I have a ton of problems with. Uh, like, literally all the time I have problems with it. Just, the lines are really weird. Especially, I mean, not so much coming the way that I'm coming now, but going the opposite way. Uh, the car will get into, you know, the turn lane multiple times and then swerve over. It's really bad. Okay, that was... Oh my god! Oh goodness! Oh, that was force! I was not expecting that amount of power just right off the bat, like in a turn. But that was really good, like, I, I got quote unquote like gap detection. There was no car coming, so I guess I just saw that it was clear. Maybe because, like, that intersection is on, like, kind of an incline, so the camera had better visibility. Uh, maybe that's why I was so confident because normally in any other left-hand turn, I mean, you all saw me do, okay, it should not be stopping through here. All right, yeah, that's really bad. If there was someone behind me, I would have gotten rear-ended. That is very, very bad. I thought they fixed that. Like, I'm, I'm almost positive that they fixed the whole slamming on the brakes at yellow lights. Okay, we're coming up on what I believe is our turn. It looks like it is. I have not actually went this back way like ever before, so. Beta's just driving places that I've never even been.
honestly they've handled that more than I've better than I would have handled it. I had no idea where we were that, no idea what was going on. I thought at one point it was we were supposed to take the far right kind of fork. But no, Beta did it. Once we get up here, we're gonna put in our last route. Let the car do its thing. Oh my goodness, the road here is awful. Yeah, we got a four way and we got, we are clear. Just checking for visibility, we are completely good. Please don't slam on your brakes. Please don't slam on your brakes. Please don't slam on your brakes. It's doing it again. I thought that was fixed. I thought that was fixed. I went through tons of yellow lights. Or not yellow lights, but you know, yellow flashing. Without a problem. And now it's just slamming on its brakes. All right, so the GoPro ended up overheating. Uh, there was only a few miles left on the drive though, and it did it, you know, just fine. It actually took a very sharp turn really well, and then took a stop sign very well. Uh, I don't know if I said this during the drive, but I know that they said that the vehicle stops at stop signs, but I still feel like it doesn't come to that full stop. I don't know, like, which I'm, 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 I'm happy about. I think that the whole, you know, not stopping at stop or forcing the car to stop at stop signs is stupid uh but because i mean that's not how people drive i bet the person that signed off on that then proceeded to drive home and you know do a california roll through a stop sign uh but nonetheless uh overall 10.10.2 .10 was pretty successful i mean i'm not really too surprised that we're having zero disengagement drives at this point like i'm not having to forcefully take over yes i know that the drive was at night not many people on the road uh, but I mean, even during the day when I do these, like I don't really have disengagements, um, like at all anymore. In fact, even, you know, in like much heavier traffic, in fact, in traffic, I feel like it, it, it excels. Uh, my only gripe right now would be, uh, yellow lights. What happened? I thought we like, I thought those were fixed. Um, like uh, during both those instances where it's, where it, it slammed on the brake for the yellow light, I would have gotten rear ended. Uh, 10.10.2 10 overall good. Uh, I'm glad I finally got an update. Uh, I'm glad it did that left-hand turn. That that was very, very, um, I'm not gonna say surprising, but uh, I'm very happy to see it do that, you know, because I took it through there, you know, dozens of times and it could never take that left-hand turn, like ever. So I'm, I'm very glad that it was able to do it. And uh, overall, you know, let me know what you all would like to potentially see. Like, do you all like this type of drive? where I kind of do like a first impressions at night uh, because, you know, a lot of these updates will roll out in the middle of the night. This one rolled out yesterday uh, to like a limited number of people and then it rolled out to the rest of the people uh, today, this afternoon, but I was uh, I was working, so. Uh, but normally they, they roll out at night. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is that, or I think what I'm gonna do is that anytime I do get an update, I'm gonna take it out that night, do a first impressions, and then probably revisit it like a week later uh, after I've had more time with it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, Go ahead in the video here. Uh, let me know what y'all think down below, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.